So if you've been on the channel, I talk about this all the time. I earned my bachelor's, then I went right into my master's degree, yada, yada, yada. And I think now it's appropriate to talk about the differences between a master's and a bachelor's. Well, today I'll just highlight a couple and we'll get out of here. And hopefully today the info that I give you can help you be more informed if you're considering going to grad school. Let's get started. Number one being the most obvious, the amount of time that it takes to earn a bachelor's versus a master's. Now, the main reason that the time is much shorter during a master's is because you don't have gen eds during your master's degree. During your bachelor's degree, you're taking those gen eds to develop your base knowledge. So those first two years are strictly focused on that. Anybody at any college is doing essentially the same thing for the first two years. You truly start digging into your major during the second semester of your sophomore year or your third year, generally speaking. But during your master's degree, you're expected to have some base knowledge coming in already. So there are no first two years to warm up. You're getting right into it. All the subject areas that you need to be knowledgeable in, all of the upper level classes, all of the special subjects, you're doing them throughout your first semester. And this leads well into my second point, which are the expectations that you have in your master's versus your bachelor's. See, during your bachelor's degree, you have a lot of exams, you have a lot of homework, and you're expected to do all of those things. There's something that you need to hand into your professor during that class time. And maybe there's some type of quiz or test that you have to study for during that class time. So you're expected to give something to them to verify your engagement. Whereas in a master's degree, your engagement is expected. So most likely you're not getting a homework assignment that you have to turn in every single class. In my master's program, we had no exams, but what we did have to do is a lot of reading, more reading than you'll ever do in your entire life. And if you didn't do the reading, you could not engage in class. You see, during a master's degree, you're learning to master the subject. So if you're not taking the time to do the reading and do the supplemental research, you're just gonna fall behind. I did have to write a thesis. So if you're fooling around, you're not doing the assigned readings, you're not doing the additional research, your thesis is going to be garbage. So although most of the time, generally speaking again, you're not giving something to verify your engagement, you better be engaged because you either have to take some type of comprehensive exam at the end, or you have to hand in some type of thesis. So you may miss a couple of homework assignments during your bachelor's, but don't miss anything during your master's. And I think this point really matters before any of the other ones that I spoke about, but how you can leverage each of these degrees. Now, in my last video, I talked about how I regretted getting a master's, right? It wasn't the first choice that I should have made, but I needed that master's degree to get into the position in higher education that I really wanted. Whereas for many other industries, you can truly leverage a bachelor's to get wherever you wanna be. And sometimes all they need to know is that you have that bachelor's and that you have the skills to back up that bachelor's. For many industries, your goal is just to get in, and once you're in, you're good. So I would say, if you're looking to get a graduate degree specifically, you need to be precise and have information as to why you need to get a master's. You're dedicating more time on top of the bachelor's that you've just earned. You better have a reason for specifically doing that. And if you wanna just get the master's to better yourself, Sure, I have no problem with that. Go be great. But if you're looking from a fiscal perspective, you really have to make an informed decision about it. So let me know what you think about these. Did you earn a bachelor's? Did you earn a master's degree like I did and then transition right back to where you wanted to be in the first place? Let me know. There's a high probability that you have not subscribed yet. So if you can, please hit that subscribe button for me, but also like, comment, and share so that I can reach and help more people. And more than anything, start today. Start now. See you soon.